morning, Hoppin' in Middle School, and welcome to HMS Today. I'm your host, Manoli Barris. Today, we'll see a new picture for your Have You Seen This? We'll hear a minute with the principal, Mr. Rockwood will have a new Fun Fact Friday, and we'll hear the answers for the question of the day. But first, here are today's announcements. Good morning, Hopkinton Middle School. Today is Friday, April 29th, and it's a day 10. Hopkinton Middle School Drama Club is proud to present their spring musical production of Cinderella. The show will be performed tonight and tomorrow night at 7 p.m. and Sunday, May 1st, at 2 p.m. Tickets are $12 for adults and $10 for students. There are over 110 students involved in this show and some wonderful members of our staff. Come and support them all and experience the magic. Bag Toss Tournament. The last tournament of the year is around the corner. Bag Toss Tournament will be held next week on May 3rd through May 5th in the courtyard after school. The cost is $4 per person. So find your teams of two. Please turn in all forms and money to Mrs. Kirschenbaum in room 247. Washington, D.C. News. Attention all grade 8 students going to Washington, D.C. Please bring your medication forms and bus money to the Guidance Office ASAP. Student Council. There will be an informational meeting for 8th graders on Tuesday, May 10th for all interested in learning more about student government opportunities at the high school. High school student leaders will be here to share with you their experiences and let you know what you need to do to run for a position. This meeting will take place in Miss Bates room. Eighth graders, please check your email if you haven't already done so for a special email about the party coming on May 20th. Monday, May 2nd is a day 11. Have a happy Hopkinton day, try your hardest, do your best, but most of all, be kind to every person you meet. Thank you very much. And to let you know what else is going on, here's a Minute with the Principal. Welcome to this week's Minute with the Assistant Principal. Congratulations to the Robo Hillers who finished 68th out of 200 in their division at the VEX World Championship in Kentucky. There were students from over 30 countries who competed. Job well done. We're looking forward to this weekend's production of Cinderella. We'd like to acknowledge the over 110 students in the cast and crew, along with Miss Gifford and Miss Conant for their efforts. If you're not in the show, we hope you can make it and we'll see you there. Next week is Teacher Appreciation Week. We hope you took the opportunity to fill out a thank you Apple note to your teachers. In addition, we'll hold events throughout the week to recognize our educators. Monday is Hiller Green Day, so wear green to recognize our Hiller staff. Tuesday, we encourage you and your parents to write a note of thanks to your teachers. On Wednesday, bring your teacher a needed classroom item. Your parents have access to a list of requested classroom items. Thursday is an opportunity to recognize one of our staff members in some way. Mrs. Balboa, Mrs. McBride, Mrs. DeVore, Nurse Burke, Mrs. Norby, custodians. And on Friday is a special treat day, a chance to offer a teacher something that he or she considers to be a special treat. Now here's Mr. Rockwood with Fun Fact Friday. Good morning and welcome to another edition of Fun Fact Friday. Did you know the longest word in the English language with its letters in reverse alphabetical order is spoon feed? The shortest ology is oology, the scientific study of eggs, and that's no yolk. The word schoolmaster is an anagram for the classroom. Have a great weekend. Thanks for sharing, Mr. Rockwood. And now we go to the question of the day where we asked you, what's the strangest dream you've ever had? Here are today's answers. Swimming in potato salad. Okay, so I had a reoccurring dream when I was younger that I was bouncing off the heads of monsters with my best friend and we would bounce inside their mouths and as soon as we bounced off, then uh, they would close their mouth and I almost got eaten every single time, but I lived to tell the tale. Mrs. Richards as my English teacher. Sarah Furlong as my English teacher. <laughs> well, the strangest dream I ever had was when I saw a guy in a tank top made of bubbles. The strangest dream I've ever had is I died and woke up as a dinosaur. Uh, the strangest dream I've ever had was being locked in a closet with my best friend. The strangest dream that I've had was I was the owner of McDonald's and I was rich and famous. The craziest dream I've ever had is giant corn dogs everywhere. So one time I had this dream where I was in a tree house and 
everyone just communicated through mean girl puns and it was so weird the craziest dream i've ever had is giant flying fish were chasing me and they all flew from the sky down onto me and i ate them all fletcher was speaking italian the weirdest dream i've ever had is when i was riding on a surfboard in a gummy bear ocean uh, in a gummy bear, bear ocean and then this giant fluffy unicorn just came poking out of me and then there was this there was this weird seaweed thing that said you are dreaming the weirdest dream I've ever had is when I couldn't stop dabbing. My weirdest dream I ever had is being on HMS TV. The strangest dream, dream I've ever had is when Jack was cool. I had the same dream. Being attacked by an army of salad dressings. My brother got eaten by a panda. I ate Thomas McAuliffe. The weirdest dream I've had is when I dreamed that I broke a lamp and that um, my mom turned in, like, to this giant sea monster and she ate my two brothers. When, when the, the fish, fish stung Bridget. The weirdest dream I ever had is when, well, those giant monsters and they were trying to eat me and they were dangerous. And my dad and mom and my whole family was in it. I think someone died. The weirdest dream I've ever had was probably repeatedly running into a wall and I couldn't do anything about it. And I'm pretty sure I cracked my skull or something like that. Okay, okay. So, so one time I had we had a dream that we were falling off a cliff and then when we woke, woke up, up, we were like we fell off a bed. The weirdest dream I've ever had is when I was eaten by a pumpkin. Softball becoming softballs. I was a cow. The weirdest probably the worst dream I've ever had is going to the prom with Mr. Carney. Ew. I had a dream once that I built the courtyard with Miss Grady. Me and this feller, we were in Marshmallow Land. Our weirdest dreams were when we found out we were sisters with Emily Carp and Olivia J. I I was in this island and I was surrounded by slop. The weirdest dream I ever had was that I was taking MCAS again. Ah! The weirdest dream we ever had was, was when, when we found out the Maya just track. <laughs> the weirdest dream I ever had is that my dog was a thug with a gold chain. The weirdest dream I ever had is I dreamt that I was a piece of pizza. My weirdest dream was I was flying the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> the weirdest dream I ever had is when Sarah Furlong taught me how to dab. My weirdest dream that I had is when Spencer was cool. Those are some pretty strange answers, all right. Thanks for sharing. Now let's move on to Have You Seen This? The last picture was of the AED sign outside of the Brown Gym. This week's winner is... Iris Zelsig. Stop by the office after school to collect your prize. And congratulations to everyone who find it. And here's this week's picture. If you know where it is, send your answers to hmstv at hillers.org and you could be our next winner. That's all for this week, Middle School, for HMS Today. I'm Manoli Barris. Now get out there and study hard.